are at Gardenville.tv and we're in the fruit area of the of a garden centre and um, it's just to show you the variety that you can grow. But we're going to look at, um, what's this? Uh, this is a tayberry. A tayberry. It's another one of the cane fruits. Now, no. okay, what is a tayberry? What's the difference between this and a raspberry? A tayberry is actually, it's a cross between a raspberry and a blackberry. Oh, and it was right. bred in Scotland in 1962. Wow. Uh, it's the strong growth, so it has the sort of growth habit, if you like, of a blackberry or a loganberry, in that it um, grows, it fruits on the growth it makes this year, it'll fruit on next year, but it grows huge long canes, so it'll grow oh, to yeah. six or eight feet tall with a spread of eight okay. feet Okay, so. so they need to be all wired so up they need and all to be that, wired so we'll up show that, show or how to do that. If you just want a single fruit, if you just have space on a wall, it'll take a bit of shade, Something like a tayberry will give you great value. Oh, I'm it's going to buy that today because that would be great if we can just grow it up against yeah, a wall. Yeah, that's perfect. It's um, sweeter than a loganberry, same sort of shape, long, it's sort of big, dark though, purple. It's big though, isn't it? It's big, it's about an inch and a half long. So you get a fruit. good bit of fruit you on it. You get a good bit of fruit. Yeah. It's sweeter than a loganberry and sharper than a blackberry so it's a delicious flavour. Is it? I love tayberries. I mean you can eat them straight off And would the you do a nice crumble or you something? You could do a crumble, yeah. you could do a pie, you could make jam, jelly. Well of you course know, you can do at Gardenville.tv we do have the recipe section and if you go on you'll get great recipes on making pies and all sorts of different things which Caroline, our recipe lady, is putting together for us at Gardenville.tv. I don't know whether Rosie the camera can see there, but they're just, you can see new shoots coming up from the base. And you just let those these new shoots Yep, you grow. let these new shoots up and these ones will be fruiting now next year. Right, okay. But you do need to tie it in and with the other, like uh, blackberries and summer fruiting raspberries, you cut the old fruited canes out and tie in the new ones. For and the again, next year. that we will show how to do. We'll I show have how, a clue how to do that. To that yeah. Time of the year, okay. we have a, a fruit cage available to do where we can show how. But that you know, is this is a tough little cookie then that you can put in it's the garden. It's a tough little cookie. Mm. It'll take a bit of shade, good garden soil. Put it in with lots of organic matter when you're planting it. Mulch in the spring, high potash fertilizer in the spring, and keep it watered. Okay, a potash fertilizer, does that come in water base? Um, or? You'll probably see, you'll probably be able to buy a fertilizer for fruit and veg, but okay. you'll see on most fertilizers they mention the N, P and K, right. which is a nitrogen, phosphate and potash, right. and it's a high potash Okay, okay. well that's, that's important to know because it means your fruit's going to be better. Yes, I mean it's the, it's the potash you put on for, yeah. for the actual fruit production. Brilliant.